Alrighty, welcome to Fix by Doc and Crazy Otter Productions. And today we have um, Rainbow Bright here with our deer hide that we got, I think it was last year or two years ago, that she uh, tanned. Well, and two Christmases. Two Christmases ago. And uh, Cow Dog here is very interested in. And she's finally gotten around to. Uh, doing something with it, so she's going to explain what she's got going on here. Alright, so I'm planning on turning one pretty decently sized, at least in my opinion, deer hide into one pair of amateur moccasins uh, based on a pattern I found on the internet. A uh, lady had posted it on a, I think it was a discussion forum, and I will, since it's going to be complicated, I will have it put down in the comments or an annotation, whichever works best, where I found it. And I thank her right now for her kindness in putting it out there for other people to try. But basically, you did some tracing of your feet and uh, making of patterns. So I did that, and I didn't make a video of that because I had no clue how it was going to turn out. And so you end up making a pattern for each foot, and the upper you could either make one or two, um, of, cause it's, and it would depend on what you wanted to make um, with her pattern. You can make them shorter and just have like a foot style or a smaller upper or I wanted to go with the big upper which is why it's taking up like an entire deer and then the, the tongue. Is this part of the hide? No, that is called Ralph. Oh, okay. That one's self-mobile and it's still warm. We feed it and we love it very much. But I made myself a prototype pair out of some old wool blanket. I got it at a thrift store sort of thing. And Kyle just stepped on one of the seams, so it's all a little bit soggy on that side. But basically, I wanted to see how it would turn out. And the idea here is that this side was supposed to be attached all the way to here. And it is on this side still attached all the way to there. Um, and then the tongue gets tucked in. Do you have a question? No. No, okay. Somebody else probably has a question, but they can't talk to me right now, so I can't answer it. I'll have to be psychic or something. But this gets sort of wrapped around the leg. And I wasn't sure how long to make the, the upper because she said she was doing hers on a different hide or a bigger hide and she had calf length uppers as well, but she was doing it like an individualistic way and they had more of the leg that she was just gonna use the leg on each, as each upper. Um, so she didn't really have a pattern. She just said make a trapezoid um, and make the bottom X inches wide usually um, like you measured, I think it was this distance, and then added a couple inches. Speak up. Um, you, you measured the bottom of your pattern for this portion and then added, I don't remember how many inches you add, but that becomes the portion here that flaps around. Um, and so, like I'm doing here, it's, if I was just going to make these and wear them, um, and it was just leather itself, it probably what I had guesstimated for my size, I don't remember how big it was, um, would have been adequate at least, but seeing as I left the hair on the hide and or I might be putting it over clothing um, There isn't a lot of there's a lot of overlap in a few places But in some places there isn't as much overlap as I would be comfortable with especially since having the hair on the hide is going to have this poof out more um, So I did a little math and adjustment, which is why I'm glad I made my prototypes um, because now I have added, I've added about half inch to everything except for along the edges of the uppers where I've added, you can see I added about a half, an inch and a half here um, and about three and a half inches here because I, I do need a little bit more space up along this edge. Um, and then this part is going to hang down on the top so I didn't have to worry too much about how that's shaped. I kind of like it being just however it hangs. It'll be interesting. So I, I think I've made the best use I can out of the hide based on where the holes were in it from the kind of person who shot it and saved us the hide off of their hunting trip because um, there were some holes I had to work around and the thickness of the hide and where I had to put the nail holes. I would have loved to have put the soles in a bit more of the center of the hide but then you kind of don't have anything else room for because this is a little thicker than where I have them. I'll just have to be careful about what I step in and where I step and take care of them more. But I have, I do believe I have two uppers set up to be one for each leg, two 
bottom parts, I'm going to scoot this over so it's easier to see, two bottom parts on what was the neck of the deer, um, and two tongues, which I did make a little wider, but I didn't think I needed to increase their length, just the width a little bit. And I'm hoping that I have it set up so that the bottom part of my foot will have the hair going sort of sideways along it, but the uppers, I'm hoping that I have it, and I do, I think, have it set up so that the hair will go this direction on the inside, and then when it flops down, it'll hang down um, and sort of just drape like that. Um, so I guess that's mostly what I've got going so far. I just outlined it in chalk. I will be cutting it out next. I guess you can see the front side before we completely lacerate the beer. Has like, yes, yes, let us eat, I mean, see the front side. You can step on it if you want, Kyle. Um, so we'll see how long these hold together because the deer hide was a little old. It had been in a garage and kind of, I think it was semi-frozen for some of that and slightly thawed for some of it before it got to us. And then I tanned it as my first tan with a kit from Gander Mountain. Um, so this is like a first time for everything for me. Yeah, so our very first hide that we've ever worked with from start to finish, from processing it into a hide to making anything out of it. This is our very first attempt to do anything. We do have one more hide sitting in our freezer down in the basement that needs, still needs to be tanned. It's salted and everything, and uh, salted and then frozen. So we need to thaw it and uh, get it tanned, and then, um, then we'll do something else with it. But uh, can't beat free hides. My Boy Scouts go out hunting, and they have standing orders to save the hides for me. Oh, no. and, standing uh, request. Yeah. Standing requests, standing orders, whichever. So as they get the deer hides and they don't need them, then they will they give them to us. So this year uh, we got one big one, and last year we got one big one. I think this year's is a little smaller. So. Maybe it'll stretch, though. Yeah. This seemed this was a monster to work with, just mm -hmm. a first time experience. I like the white under the tummy tongue. the the under hair right here is my favorite part. It's okay. nice and soft, and if she's not going to use this part, it doesn't look like she is. No, Those are going to be the tongue. sections that I take, and uh, I'm going to make something with. So, oh, alrighty. It is not edible. You have anything else to add? No, I think I'm just going to thank the deer for being a good deer and living a nice life and then becoming moccasins. Are life. you doing anything with that tail? Uh, no. Then I'll take the tail, too. You can't huh. attach it to Kyle. He's already got one. It's going to be a nose warmer. It's like I kill you. <laughs> Alrighty. Thanks for watching Fixed by Doc and Crazy Otter Productions. This will go up on both of our channels.